everybody welcome back to the channel so uh getting ready for a little car show that we have up here and i'm uh actually painting the underside with like a crinkle black paint because i don't have the uh heat shield anymore and it looks pink underneath because it's not sprayed all the way so i want to do something about that and i decided i finally need to buff the car so i started buffing the right hand side of the hood and this side is not yet buffed some jack wagon cut vinyl on this hood at some point with a blade it's pretty obvious but so anyways um i don't have all the scratches out but definitely way better than it used to be so here's the untouched side let's see if i can it'd be a lot more obvious in the daytime probably might be able to see so it's it's got your typical wear and scratching you can see it all there and here's the buff side there's still some but uh i don't want to get too crazy you go too far and burn through the clear coat then you're screwed so and this car may have been buffed already once before in its life so uh anyways buffing the car and uh, we'll show you how it turns out when it's finished okay so i think that's about it for tonight uh, i got the hood polished the trunk the bumper and the back of the deck lid here and kind of these corners um it's not perfect there's a lot of scratches in this paint and being red it's kind of hard to see when it's outside in broad daylight because it's so bright but uh i will say that polishing it brought the color out in the bumper it used to look a little bit on the pink side and now it seems to match the rest of the car a little better i got rid of a lot of scratches there's still some but it's way better than it used to be there's a bunch in here because people are idiots and drag stuff across their bumpers to put stuff in the trunk uh this was really bad right here before because the spoiler that was on here before was rubbing on the paint so there's still some spots like like this, that spot right there, where it actually rubbed the paint off. But uh, I got it pretty well cleaned up. It looks way better. And, and I haven't waxed it yet, so this is just the polish. And like I said, I could probably go farther, but I don't know how much clear coat is on this car and I don't know if it's original paint I don't know if it's been buffed before I don't know anything so I'm not getting too carried away and honestly it's a daily driver track car so I'm not gonna get nuts here it's not a show car but it's looking a lot better I used to have tons of swirl marks in it and it would look okay after a wax in low light it would look pretty good but didn't look very good in the middle of the daytime so it's looking a lot better looking forward to uh finishing off the rest of the car tomorrow getting the underside of the hood painted or finished painting it get it back on the car so anyways that's it for tonight and uh yeah we'll finish up tomorrow okay so it's the next day uh i have most of the car polished out it's looking pretty good there's still some scratching in it it hasn't been waxed yet it's looking pretty good uh, one thing that all this has shown me is that this car has a lot of really bad scratches in it. I was able to get the bumper pretty good. Looking pretty good so far. Like I said, it needs to be waxed still. I haven't really finished this fender. You can still see some scratches in that. Pretty happy though. Uh, pulled it outside because I just finished spraying the black on the bottom side of the hood. See, it turned out pretty sweet. It's a uh, Rust-Oleum paint. I think it's like a, it's a textured paint. It's a rugged black is the name of it. Took uh, two cans to do this. So I never liked how my vents looked underneath here with the stock pad, the heat resistant pad. It looked really crappy <laughs> so I took it off a long time ago 
And because the factory doesn't really paint the whole hood, it was kind of like pink and primered in the middle. It looked like crap, so. This should look pretty cool. I like it. And it's supposedly durable, so I should be able to wash it fairly easily, or at least rinse it off, so. Anywho, let's get back to buffing this thing out and then we'll wax it. Alright, so the car's all detailed, waxed, cleaned up. I like how the hood looks, looks a lot better. Underneath there, that looks pretty sweet. And uh, let me get this thing rolled outside and take a look at the new paint. Well, redone paint. Uh, detailed the inside. I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but we're having a little car show in town this weekend, so taking the car. Last time I went to this car show was 20 years ago. And I took my 68 Cougar and I sold it at the show. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, it looks pretty dang good. Got the wheels cleaned up. Those brake pads are ridiculous, so they get filthy. So there's still a little bit of swirls, but uh, not nearly as bad as it used to be. It is smooth as a baby's butt, let me tell you what. Definitely brought out a little more color. It looks a little less pink than it used to. It used to have a real light pink look to it but uh yeah pretty stoked yeah, pretty sweet it's not perfect but it's way better than it was so there you have it it's all polished up i'll probably do a little video from the show and uh, see if there's some other cool cars there all right we'll see you in the next one